Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo for rubyguides.com and in this video you are going to learn how to implement a search feature in a Ruby on Rails application. Okay, so I have a Rails application already and it's very simple, it's just this home page you say is hello from Rails uh, and then you can add books, the title, the author and a link to the cover image and finally you can view the books, so it's very simple but I want to be able to do Oh, and this random number, just because I was trying something with Ajax. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what I want to do in this application is to make this search field work, okay? Right now, this is nothing. I press, I click on search, nothing happens. So what do we need to make this happen? What do we need? to make this work. Well, there are a few things involved in this. First, uh, understand that whatever new feature that you want to add to a web application, Rails, uh, Sinatra, um, Roda, whatever you're using, has two parts, right? Part one is the front end, so the design, the HTML elements, the forms, all of that, that's the front end. And we have to do something about that to be able to communicate with the back end. And the back end is our Ruby code, basically our controllers, and what we do as a response from, for example, clicking the button. And then we have to do the search and return the results, right? Two parts is the request and the response, the client or server, front end, back end, such as words to represent same things in this context. So knowing that for the front end side of things, we already have a form and we have a search button, right? But this form, doesn't go to any URL. It doesn't submit any information to the server that we can work with. It doesn't submit my query, my search query, right? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to guess that this form, the search form is in the layout, in the application layout. Why I'm thinking that? Because it's on the menu. And the menu and the search form shows on every page. So a good guess is that this is on the layout. So let's see if that's correct. And a quick look shows us that yes, the search is right there as you can see. And what we need to do here is look at this form, it doesn't have an action. So forms, when you press the submit button or the search button, whatever it's called, you can give the, this button any name, it's going to perform an action. Right now th is, there is no action, so we need to add action, right? And we need to say what needs to happen, what URL, are we sending this information to? And the URL is search. Search, oops, there. And you can use any URL you want. For this example, we're going to use search. So that means that when I type something here, like program, and I click on search, it should go to slash uh, search, right? 
So first, let me reload the page to make sure that the changes are there. And we can verify by inspecting the element. And uh, looking right here, we have the action, right? So now if I click search, it sends us to search, slash search. So before I made this, as you can see, it's very small change, but very important. I added an action to the form. And now when I submit, it sends me to slash search URL. But we get this routing error. Why? Because already application doesn't know how to handle this URL. When it sees this URL, it doesn't know what to do. So what we need to do now is go to routes. So the routes is how we connect the URL with our controller. So let's add a route for that. Get uh, search because that's the URL. And then two, the name of the controller, in this case, going to be books. And the name of the action is going to be search. And the action is just a method in the controller, okay? So if I reload, it's going to say the action search cannot be found for books controller, right? So what that means is that we need to go to the books controller. So you can see implementing the feature is just following these steps, right? So let's go to the let's go to the books books controller. And here it is. So you don't need to look too much under this because I also use this project to do some testing and play around. So don't look too much into what's already here. Let's look into this um, search uh, function. So let's do, um, let's put it in, how about here? Let's do dev search. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to find some books. So let's use active record, of course. Book where? And uh, what's the query like? Because there is no book search. There's no such thing built in into Rails. So we need to use some SQL. Uh, SQL is the language of the database, basically. So what do we want to search? We want to search by title. I'm going to say like question mark. I'm going to explain what that is in a moment. But in here we need this percent symbol then another percent symbol. Then in the middle, we're going to put params Q. So let me explain a little what's going on here. First, we have a few components. We have this string with this like. Maybe you never, never saw this like before. Like uh, is for searching basically, right? What's the question mark? Well, the question mark is a placeholder. And this uh, real thing that for security, we replace the placeholder with whatever um, arguments we have here. Uh, in here we have params Q. So Q is for query means query, uh, a lot of search um, engines, search uh, forms use Q for its name, for the parameter name. So we're going to do the same here. And what are the percent symbols? Well, the percent symbols are basically um, 
like asterisks, they are wild cards. So what this means is that we are going to be able to search a word that's in the middle of, of the title of the book or the start of the title or the end. So the word can be anywhere in the title of the book. And of course, this is an example. You can do this with any other model that you have. You can do this with users, uh, fruits, fruits, um, vegetables, whatever you are working with, right? The important part is the actual query. So now if I go in here and reload, now we get this uh, error. And I believe that the problem is that we need to paste to pass some queue. So let's do queue computer, for example, and now we get a different error, right? So the error now is that we're missing a template. So let's create a template. Let's do, how about H1, let's create, first let's save the file so we can set the type of this file inside the editor. So I'm going to save this in the app, views books. I'm going to name this, um, I'm going to name this search.erv. So we have search.erv. Now we can do h1 search results. Okay. And then we're going to render um, partial or just render books. I think we can do that. Let's see. Ta-da! It's working. So that works, but is it working with through this search uh, form? Let's test that. If I type computer, we should see the same book, right? But what we get is this error. Why? Because when I click search, it doesn't set the parameter. See, the search doesn't have the question mark you with our search query like this. It doesn't look like this when I write and click the button. Why not? Well, we have to go back to the form. Um, remember it's an application layout. Uh, here's the search button, here's the search input, uh, here's the form. So what's missing here? Well, here's the thing with Rails, is that you need to also now, when you're doing the front end side of things, unless you have some sort of um, front end developer that's doing all of the, or most of the HTML for you, then you really need to understand these things, right? Uh, specifically here, what we need is a name attribute. So if we do name, oh, not namespace, this. We can give a name to this input form and the name is going to be Q, right? So two very simple things, the action and the name, and the name, where is it? on the input form. So the input form is where we type, right? It's here where we type whatever our search query is. Now it will work because it's going to, it's going to use this name to submit the data. So let me demonstrate that for you. If I do computer, ta-da! works because now it said the queue. If I do another um, book, for example, algorithm, that doesn't work, algorithm, because I misspelled. So 
if you misspelled your search query, of course, it's not going to work. But this has algorithm in the title, so it works. Okay, so that's the search. And so that's what it took to create this very simple um, search functionality. So you can see it, does, uh, it didn't require didn't require any gems or anything special. And the steps are very simple if you follow them. Okay. So I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. Please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. And if you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.